Hello everyone, this is Dre41 and welcome to PWR Rivals Pro Wrestling Revolution and we are live for a great night of professional wrestling. And I seem like a broken record, but here we have the reigning and defending undisputed PWR Junior Heavyweight Champion Byron X. It seems like every single pay-per-view this man shows up and shows out successfully defending the PWR Junior Heavyweight Championship. And not only that, this man has made history. The longest reigning champion in PWR history. This man has held the title since last season. We are in month number five of the six month season for season number five of PWR. And this man is still going strong, successfully defending the championship every single month. He has made it known. He's not interested in facing newcomers. He wants champions. He wants to face former junior heavyweight, cruiserweight champions, light heavyweight champions. He just wants the top tier competition. And I'm pretty sure Byron X is coming out here tonight to reinforce that statement. But let's see the words that come out of the champion's mouth, man. He has been such a great champion here in PWR. Much respect to Byron X. Hello, PWR Universe. It is your longest reigning PWR Junior Heavyweight Champion. And now that I think about it, I think I'm the longest reigning champion in PWR. Damn, I'm too good. Anyway, let's talk about competition in the Junior Heavyweight Division. It's lacking, again. And guys, I've told you once, but I'll tell you guys again. Because of the complete amateurs I got to face in the junior heavyweight division, I'm not stepping back in that ring until I start facing some junior heavyweight champions. People that have held the title before. People that know how to put up a challenge, know how to put up a fight. And to be honest, you're not going to see the cruise great in that ring again until I get some former junior heavyweight champions. Because, let's be honest, I had to face people like Conor McGregor, someone that, to be honest, doesn't belong in PWR, should go back to UFC. Because he tried to face me at PWR high stakes. And what was the result? still failed because let's be real no one's taking this title away from me because i am the cruiser great for a reason but you know if that's what management wants to keep doing and keep putting guys up to fail that's what they're gonna keep doing but you know i don't want to keep facing these amateurs these people that are so called great in the junior heavyweight division I want to face some former champions or I don't want to face anybody week in and week out black excellence been taking loss after loss after loss and this shit ain't really been that excellent shout out to Tiffany Jones for keeping our head above the water but all that shit is about the trash Kareem is leaving the company to go focus on another company right now in HW. He coming for that real title. But we right here in PWR. So I'm going to bring my man Derek Wolf in. And we're going to get shit in order. First thing on the agenda, that television title. A hey, Frost. I hope you had a nice little time with that motherfucker. Because it's over with. It's coming home to us. Oh, yeah. And the Don, or Maverick, or whoever has it at the end of the day. I'm next in line. 
we're going to put that strap around Bishop Stone's waist. You can bet on that. Black Excellence out. And already in the ring, we have the Paragon Jay Pierce waiting for his opponent in the opening contest, the PWR Television Champion, making his return to PWR Rivals, K.R. Sebrost. And his opponent from New Jersey, playing in at 238 pounds, the Pro Wrestling Television Champion. And K.R. Frost holding that gold. And you know that he wants to keep that championship right where it is. Tonight is going to be a non-title matchup against the Paragon J. Uh, Pierce. But you already know that, uh, yeah, Jaden Shadow wants that championship back. And uh, K.R. Frost is definitely going to have to watch his back here tonight against uh, not only, I mean, you know, the Paragon Jay Pierce, but also Jaden Shadow, and uh, yeah, this is going to be quite a test for Frost here tonight, showing the world uh, what the new television champion brings to PWR, and definitely in this contest here, he will have a challenge against Jay Pierce, and I'm pretty sure KR Frost, well-rested, ready to go here tonight, we are going to see what he brings to the table in this matchup here, it's going to go down. It's definitely going to go down here. Fans are on their feet. They are ready to see this opening contest take place. Pierce is ready. Frost is ready. And the referee letting him know, calling for the bell. Let's get it. And collar and elbow tie up in the center of the ring. Looks like a vertical suplex by Frost. And Frost already pumped up here tonight. Ooh, caught an elbow right to the jaw. Already combinations by Pierce, but good reversal there by Frost. Frost working, working him over. Big overhead German suplex just flipping the Paragon right onto his face. And Frost not letting up, picking him up, and dumping him down with a power bomb. Big move there by Frost, and already he is letting the crowd here tonight know that it's over for Pierce. But wait a minute, Pierce might have something different in mind. Dropping him face first. Picking up Frost. What is he going to do here? Ooh, chop right to the throat. Combination moves. Big forearm shot. Overhands. Damn, Pierce is trying to tee off against Frost right now. Wait a minute. What's this? Irish whip over the ropes. Holding on here. Ooh, punch right to the head. And now, what's this? Oh, he's going to... Oh, my God. Those overhands right to, the, right to the sternum of Pierce. And he is filling those right now by the television champion just teeing off on him and down goes Pierce to ringside and Frost not far behind him. The one thing you can't give Frost credit for is he is not wasting any time going right after his opponent. Of course, taunting him as I say that, but regardless. And now picking up his opponent here. What is his plan? Another Irish whip right to the floor. It looked like he bumped a little bit into the barricade there and Frost Letting the ref do his count here. I don't know if he's going to necessarily let him get counted out here. That would be surprising. But, hey, a win is a win, to be completely honest. And now, wait a minute. The ref trying to stop Frost from getting outside the ring and allowing Pierce to get back in. Okay. I mean, that's running it fairly. And now, what does this look like? Another damn just room with that suplex. And wait a minute. What the hell is this? What is this? What's going on here? Um... I'm a little bit confused about what the hell was that? Yeah, I'm, I'm very confused on what the hell that was. But nonetheless, oh, wait a minute, Pierce. Oh, my goodness, Pierce trying to get rid, trying to get rid of Frost, trying to make him submit here. Will he be able to make him submit here? Will this happen? And I don't understand what just happened here. We just heard uh, Black Excellence music. I'm, I'm very confused. Very confused on what that just was. But uh, Frost, uh, I guess, was ready for it. Oh, and over the ropes and down ringside area. And uh, Frost is just got taken out of his game here. And now the Paragon is in the ring waiting for Frost to get to his feet and not going to wait. He's going to go out there and check on him. And now calling for him to get to his feet. What the hell is he? 
plan on doing here. Wait a minute, what's this? Single arm DDT on the outside. And now, flipped it into that Fujiwara arm bar, and he has to realize that a submission is not going to take place on the outside. He's going to have to get him back into the ring. And now the Paragon back into the ring here. And uh, wow, Frost uh, making a statement showing that he's not hurt at all. Okay, strange enough, but let's run with it. And now Frost getting back into the ring, meeting Pierce. Pierce with the advantage. Iris whip it to the corner. And now what is Pierce going to do here? Drops Frost right into the turnbuckle. Damn, and now Pierce is just in the driver's seat right now. He is directly in the driver's seat now, going for the penitent referee for the count. Just a one count. And Frost able to get out of that predicament. And now back up, trying to get back to his feet here. Pierce with the right hand, go behind. Big elbow, good reversal there by Frost. Back elbow, overhand chop. Right, ooh, goodness, DDT. And going for the penitent referee for the count. One, two, and just a two count. Frost able to kick out in that Paragon. Definitely frustrated about what's going on in this matchup. Kick right to the side of the head, good reversal. Ooh. And now Frost, what is he gonna do here? Going for the arm bar, going for the arm bar and the leg bar as well. Trying to go for a submission attempt here. And will the Paragon tap out here with that hold? He is locked in, but no. Pierce able to get out of that one. Frost is gonna have to go to the drawing board again for that. Ooh, hook right to the body. Picks him up. And what's this? Damn, just dumps him down. And that has to be it there. Referee for the count. Two, three. And KR Frost with the victory here tonight. And you got to think, why the hell did we hear Black Excellence music in the middle of this matchup here? I'm very, very confused by that one. Look at that DDT trying to go for the win. That didn't happen there. And then Frost dumping him down with that innovative move, getting the three count. And damn, the TV champion had a tough matchup here, but was able to get the victory big up to Frost. And Frost with that victory, you know that he is not... Oh, wait a minute. Look what we have here. The newly signed member of PWR roster and also new member of Black Excellence, Derek Wolf on the stage. And we heard his music with Black Excellence music during the match. And now it looks like Frost wants to get him some of Derek Frost and the referee trying to stop this. And Derek Wolf catching that right hand from Frost. And now it's a back and forth between these two men. They are throwing bombs back and forth between each other. And this rivalry is getting very, very heated. And in our next contest here. Oh, it's about to go down, man. I'm telling you, these two tag teams. The following contest. Seen. Is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Ken Jen from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, weighing in at 272 pounds. Our man, Don. And Armando making his way to the ring. He had the deep ten. <laughs> he got, he got the deep ten this week. I tell you, but he is ready to go to work this week. He is going to be going up against a man that he definitely has some issues with. He is going up against Zach Ruby of the Mob Squad, and yeah, it's it's gonna go down. It's definitely gonna go down. He's gonna have to step it up like he's never stepped it up before, and show why they deserve to be tag team champions here in PWR. But He's going to have to do it in a one-on-one -on -one setting here. Armando better be prepared because Zach Ruby is ready to go. I'm telling you, Zach Ruby is of a different breed. I mean, the mob squad has stepped it up here in PWR. I'm very, very surprised. But they're going to do what they do best. And as of late, that's if they have it their way, that's win. Let's see if that happens. I mean, it's... It's very intriguing to see and that. His opponent, and you guys get where they got. Tony Chen E from 
Glen Ridge, New Jersey, weighing in at 219 pounds, Zach Rude. Zach Ruby making his way to the ring with the El Capo Grande, Tony Cheney, and uh, you know for a fact that they are laser focused on potentially becoming number one contenders for the tag team championships. And you gotta think, the violent gentlemen are watching very closely. Violent gentlemen are ready and prepared for all challengers, and the mob squad could potentially be that. I mean, think about it, right? The Mob Squad already defeated this new tag team. Then Tony Cheney won a, a singles victory. Now Zach Ruby has his chance to potentially win a singles match. We are going to see if, if Mob Squad has it here in PWR. They're one win away from basically, I mean, for lack of better words, cleaning this tag team, this, this new tag team that was signed to PWR. So, I mean, it's, it's very interesting to see what's going to happen here tonight between these two uh, teams here in this one-on-one -on -one setting. But we will find out. Armando is ready. Ruby is ready. The referee calls for the bell. Let's get it. And now kick right to the head there. And Ruby would, uh... Damn! Snapmare driver taking down Armando. And now kick right to the head, kick to the leg, other kick to the head, and kick to the gut. A DDT combination move there by Zach Ruby, picking him up here. Rip or knee strike right to the jaw. And Ruby is not wasting any time. Spins him around with another knee strike. Damn. And now Ruby going up top. High risk maneuver on its way into a double foot stomp. Damn. He is putting in work. Referee for the count and almost a three count, but Armando able to kick out. Ooh, big boot right to the face. Oh, wait a minute. It might be time for that deadlift. German suplex. And Ruby felt that one there. And now Armando in the driver's seat, just raking on the face of Ruby. And now what is he going to do? Dragging him away from the ropes, potentially trying to possibly go for a pin? Maybe? And yes, that is the case there. Referee for the count. One, two, oh, almost a three count. But Ruby able to kick out of the last moment. And now he's calling a shot, trying to go for a rolling elbow. No go on that. And now Ruby got him goozled here. I don't know why he tried to throw it. He wasn't even on his feet. Oh, wait a minute. Ruby throws him out the ring. Off the ropes. And Ruby with a high risk maneuver over the ropes. Take him down on Mondo. And now Zach Ruby going in. Knee drop right across the face. And another knee drop. Damn. Fans are going nuts here seeing Zach Ruby fly on PWR. And now another rip court knee right to the jaw. Down goes Armando. Four. And Zach Ruby is well in the driver's seat. Getting back into the Five. lane here. And sliding back out, breaking the referee's count. And getting Armando back into the ring. Now what's Ruby going to do? Taking his time. And Armando grabbing his face. You can see he's in some trouble here. And now the gym. Or Karana with those punches right to the head of Armando. And Ruby is teeing off right now. Dragging him away from the ropes. Is he going to go for a penitent here? You might think he is. Referee for the count. One, two. Ooh, almost a three count again. But Armando able to kick out at the last moment. And Zach Ruby got to stay on point. He lets Armando get an opportunity. He's going to take it. Oh, and it's not mirror. Damn, hesitation. Drop kick right to the back of the head. And now Ruby's big board. Oh, tries to do a leg drop right there. Double axe handle by Armando. And now Armando taking his time again. I, I'm not sure why. He needs to stay on point. And now, oh, combination. Kick to the head. Stomp to the foot. And knee right to the jaw. Taking down Ruby. Oh, I thought that was going to be rope break. One. Oh, rope break. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Zach Ruby knew what the plan was. Grabbed the rope and caused the rope break there. 
Now Mambo kicks to the duck, pump Mambo in, into the Death Valley driver, and that might be it there, Wrestling for the count, and for me. Armando with the victory here, and it's two to one, but I think, uh, I think it might be a situation where the tag team champions might just want to go up against the team that won the most out of this best of three. And I think it's going to possibly be the Mob Squad. We will see. But nonetheless, Armando with a great victory here. Uh, uh, I mean, a good comeback against Zach Ruby. But nonetheless, a great win for Armando here tonight on PWR Rivals. we got to give him credit where credit is due. Both men went all out. Zach Ruby teed off as best as he could. But Armando was the better man tonight. Ruby with a great showing. But yeah, look at this. Combination moves by Armando. Big knee taking Here out is your winner, the, the gym. Man, Don. And Armando with the victory here tonight on Life. And up next, we have more action here in PWR. Brittany Young already in the ring waiting for her opponent a woman who's been having a very very interesting time here in pwr and uh yeah we're gonna see where this continues off at and tiffany jones making her way to the ring and tiffany jones has had an interesting month here in pwr getting attacked by this this random woman i guess she got signed to pwr but we don't know exactly who she is it hasn't been officially announced so very strange enough there but uh britney jones is on a win streak here in pwr and last week we got to see the new number one contender in the women's division and that is victoria who's gonna have her date with destiny against the pwr women's champion casey but uh, before all that, we have this matchup between these two women, Brittany Young going up against Tiffany Jones here, and it is about to go down. Young is ready. Jones is ready. The referee calls for the bell. Let's get it. And both women meeting in the middle. Kick to the gut. Look at those combinations by Tiffany Jones. Big Tiff in the building here tonight springboard oh tried to go for a ddt no go on that one well, you know <laughs> things work and some things don't and that oh knife ass chop kick to the gut and those combination moves by jones she is not playing but you got to think she is not 100 percent and that right hand oh caught the leg Just, uh, clipped her there good sweep there by Brittany young but yeah, you got to think that Tiffany Jones is watching her back at every single moment, mainly because this, this huge woman just keeps attacking her every single week here on Rivals. Ooh, throws her face right to the turnbuckle. And now look at this, that boot right to the throat, trying to choke out her opponent. And now putting the boots to her. Good reversal, though. Staying in this matchup, not letting the fact that Tiff is on a win streak here on Rivals, picks her up, dumps her down with a brain buster. And that could have taken her out right there. Referee for the count. Ooh, almost a three count, but Young able to kick out at the last minute. And Tiff is going to have to step it up here if she wants to put away her opponent. And a kick right to the back, such disrespect. And Tiff already taunting her opponent. She knows what she's trying to do here. She wants another W, but I mean, man, it's, it's, it's been rough for her. Oh, wait a minute, got her up, drops her down with that Uranagi. And now Tiff going up top, high risk maneuver on its way. And oh, tries to go for a double foot stomp and get that one off. But wait a minute, going for the pin. Wow, you're not gonna get a three count off that one, come on. I was about to say, if she would've got a three count. <laughs> if she would've got a three count. And now Tiff taking her time. And now, boot right to the forehead. And another one, so disrespectful here. And picking her back up, trying to go for a kick to the gut, single leg. And now trying to get back to her feet, but Brittany Young meeting her with a boot instead. And now taunting Tiff here. And now, ooh, right hand, 
combination move by Young. Ooh, and a roundhouse taken down. Tiffany Jones. Ooh, tried to go for a right hand. Call the elbow instead. And now Jones. Ooh, tried to go for that code breaker. Didn't get that one off. And wait a minute. Got her goozled here. Up against the ropes. Right hand. And what is she going to do here? Throwing a couple of rights. She's going to have to do a little bit more if she wants to take her out. And a kick to the gut. Might have been a little bit lower there, but kick to the gut nonetheless. Going for the pin attempt. Referee for the count one. Just a one count. And Brit, Brittany Young has to step it up here. Right hand. Go behind. What's this? Picks her up and dumps her down. This might be it. This might be it. Referee for the count two. Oh, just a two count. Just a two count. And Young able to stay in this match. I mean, well, Young not able to get finished off with this matchup. But wait a minute, what the hell? Picks her up and going for a submission. Okay. Okay, going for a submission here. Will she tap out? Will she tap out? No, it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. And roll through into an arm drag. Good reversal there. And Jones now got her goozled. What is this? Picks her up. And... Looks like she's going to drop her across the top rope, and yes, she does. Not wasting no time picking her back up here. Up, and, oh, damn, fire, thunder, driver. That's it. She's done. That's it. Going for the pin. Referee for the count. One, two, three. Brittany Jones with the victory here. Hard-fought match for uh, Tiffany Jones. And Tiff able to walk away with the victory. Man, that was a tough, tough matchup. Uh, Brittany Young brought it to Tiffany Jones, but Jones has shown that once again, she could walk away with a victory. And that kick right to the gut. It looked like it was a little bit lower, but nonetheless, the ref didn't say anything. I'm not going to say anything. It is what it is. And then dumps her down face first, and I thought that could possibly have been it right there, but Jones able to get out. And then good arm drag reversal, able to get out of that predicament. And Tiffany Jones has been showing the fans of PWR that she is the truth. Climbing the ranks win after win after win. And just when we thought things were safe, look what we have here. This unknown woman once again attacking Tiffany Jones after another victory here on PWR Rivals. I don't know who this woman is. Last week, she put Tiffany Jones through a table, and this week, she wants to do the same thing and another hit taken down. Tiffany Jones, what is going on? Who is this woman, and why does she keep going after Tiffany Jones here on PWR Rivals? I don't know who this woman is, but she definitely has some size here, and she's about to put Tiffany through the table again. And damn, whoever this woman is, she is making a statement week after week, putting Tiffany Jones through table after table after table. We need to find out exactly who this woman is. Congratulations, Spike. You and your boy were able to take out Ken Washington in Showtime. We should have known that match was nothing but a trap. But that's all right. You're going to get yours. And don't think you're going to ambush me because I'm way too smart for that. That's why I'm coming to you now via satellite. But you see, where you messed up is you didn't finish the job because Stefan Sugar Hill is still standing. I'm still handsome and I'm still untouchable. Shout out to Jane and Chase. Just know that Showtime in Washington will be back soon enough. And the ego powers will be stronger than ever. And then the odds will be in our favor. Three on two. Or maybe it'll be four on two. Or five. Maybe I'll have my little sister Tony Sweet slap you around. And I still got a rematch for the PWR world title in my back pocket. But that can wait. I'm going to make sure I destroy everything you hold near and dear. And since y'all like playing around with chairs so much. I'm going to make sure both of you end up riding around in wheelchairs. And you can believe that. And we just heard from 
former PWR World Champion Stephen Hill. And he had some words for Spike here and the Legend D. And uh, yeah, rightfully so. I mean, last week he was attacked by this man here. And uh, also uh, the muscle here in PWR. Yeah, uh, he had some problems with the Legend D. And I mean, these two men here have been showing the world that they can take out the problem that has been uh, ego powers here in PWR, and for the first time in a long time, ego powers not on PWR rivals. And uh, yeah, um, Mason Steele had a uh, encounter with uh, the Legend D a couple of weeks ago on PWR Rivals, and now he's going to be going up against Spike here, the superior one, the chairman of PWR. And man, I don't know if he's going to have a good time in this matchup. These two men here are on a mission to take out Ego Powers, and Stephen Hill stating before this matchup, that uh, Ego Powers will be back in PWR, but I don't know when because it's looking like they just got taken out. But Mason Steele is going to do his best to go up against Spike. I wouldn't bet against Spike, so Mason Steele is going to have to do the best he can to survive this matchup. And already got him goozled here, bringing him into the top bucket here. And then that jab right to the, to the face. And what is he going to do here? Picking him up and working on the leg of Mason Steele and putting the boots to him, stomping a mud hole through this kid and Spike can care less about trying to impress anybody here. He wants the W and now off the ropes. Ooh, Lion Salt. And now what is he going to do here? Dragging Steele going back to the ropes and again another springboard moon salt by Spike. And now what is he going to do? Well, okay, running around a little bit. Nonetheless, the superior one kick to the gut combination moves a forearm shot, taking down steel. Damn, those combinations are crazy. Overhand right, right to the back. And Spike not playing around right now. He is going in. And now dragging his opponent. Turns him around. Now going for a pin attempt. Referee for the count. One, two, just a two count. Mason Steele able to kick out, and you got to think that Ego Powers, all members, are watching this right now. They want to make sure that they got all their uh, notes ready because you got to think that, man, a battle is going to ensue with um, with Ego Powers and the Superior Legends. You got to think that that's the case. And now Spike, knife has chopped against the ropes, and now working on the leg of Mason Steele here. And Steele is getting worked over right now. Right hand. Oh no, what's this? Looks like a Russian leg sweep float over into those mounted punches. And Steele is getting finished off here. He is getting worked over. Going for the pin and almost at the recount. And Spike thought it was over right there. But damn, just stomped him on the face. Sheesh, Spike is disrespectful. And a shooting star press. Wow, we never seen that from Spike, but it was a rope roll. Shooting star press. Who would have thought? Oh, damn. Ripcord, superior knee. He's done. That's it. Count to a million. Oh, damn. He's not. Damn. Oh, tried to go for another one. And, man, they are teeing off here. Who would have thought? And Mason still trying to stay in this matchup. Turns him around. And now what is he going to do? Springboard back elbow. And Spike is going in right now. This is crazy. And, oh, wow, you're going for a pin off that. Come on. You can't. Wow, Spike with the W off the back elbow. And uh, Spike bringing out some uh, new moves here tonight. A shooting star press. I don't think I've ever seen Spike pull that one off at all. But man, was that a crazy one to see. And look at this, try, look at that ripcord, superior knee strike. 
and then springboard back elbow. Connor with that. Remember, he used to have that uh, superior forearm. And uh, yeah, that might be a modified version of it, able to put away Mason Steele here tonight on PWR Rivals. And the superior one with the victory here tonight on PWR Rivals. And you gotta think that Ego Powers hate what they are seeing right now. The superior one with the W. And look what we have here, a fight backstage between the number one contender, Victoria and Casey. Oh man, these two women have a date with Destiny in a couple of weeks here on PWR Danger Zone. And oh my goodness, Victoria's neck about to be tested here. And Casey is trying to take out the number one contender here backstage. And it looks like she wants to utilize that fertile breaker again. And oh man, it's about to be painful for Victoria. And she just might be done for. She might not be able to make it to Danger Zone if Casey has it her way. She is working over the number one contender right now. And oh boy, she's got a chair. And oh my goodness, trying to take Victoria out. Oh no, wait a minute. DDT! Oh my goodness, they are trying to end one another right now. God, another DDT. Yeah, they're trying to take each other out right now. This is crazy. These two women can care less about the damage they deal out to one another. Wait a minute, they're fighting. And it is about to go down. Ref calls for the bell. Let's get it. And collar and elbow here. Kick to the gut by the champion. Tries to go for a kick. Good block. Okay, some defense there by Rick Richards. Ooh, and a smack right to the back of the head. And now Irish whip over the ropes. Legendary able to hold on. Punch right to the face. And now what's this? What is the champ about to do here? Wow, submission attempt. Well, not even a submission, but wearing down the, the BMF champion here. And Rick Richards bringing out some new moves here tonight. And a knee right to the side of the face of, of Legendary. And wait a minute, high risk maneuver. Calling for Legendary to get to his feet. This, the champ is crazy right now. D oh my goodness. DDT on the outside of the ring. That's it. That's it. Legendary is done. Legendary is done. I've never seen that before. He is trying to take Legendary out, but he's still got some fight. What is he leaning up against? This is the million dollar question right here. I, Things. Reasons. It's fine. Nonetheless, the champion back to his feet saying that it's over and legendary trying to get to him but the referee holding him back and now wait a minute legendary getting out the ring but the champ right there waiting and throws him down and now the champion getting into the ring and waiting for legendary to come in and legendary taking his time here referee with the count waiting for him to get into the ring and back into the ring he is collar and elbow go behind back drops him down with a reverse DDT wait what the hell oh damn oh damn two nights in a row what is what is going on here black excellence is playing games here tonight oh and a kick right to the gut what's this fisherman driver that's it that's it referee for the count two and just a two count the champ able to kick out and the dawn the dawn making it known that he wants that title and i said black excellence he is a part of black excellence i i, I guess kind of sort of is he's black excellence adjacent i'm not sure they have a love-hate relationship let's just put it out there but the dawn music hitting there and uh distracting the champion enough for legendary to get on his a game here but oh keep right to the gut but it looks like it's still going to be a back and forth between these two men. Kick to the gut here. And a cutter. Roll through. Oh, wait a minute. Into that dragon sleeper. And he's trying to get a submission here out of nowhere against Legendary. And will the champ make that happen? And no, it doesn't look like that's the case. Snapmare takeover. Ooh, and a right hand. Springboard into an insecurity kick 
right to the side of the head. Ooh, spin kick. Oh, wait a minute. Shining Wizard taking down the world champion, going for the pin, referee for the count two, and three. Legendary just defeated the PWR world champion with, I, I want to say, possibly an assist from the Don Alexander Vashon here tonight. And damn, that was a crazy one between these two men. What a matchup. And Legendary with the victory off that Shining Wizard. Damn, that's another angle right there. Damn, just took him out. Wow. Damn, and what a surprising loss that Rick Richards took here, and he is hurting right now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Out the crowd. Out the crowd. Oh, my goodness. It's the Dawn. The Dawn is attacking the world champion from behind here. And he is getting worked over the Dawn attacking Rick Richards. And he wants that title off him. And we have a disturbance in the back. And it looks like Byron X-12 is being attacked by, by Floyd Mayweather Jr. Uh, oh my goodness, Floyd Mayweather is attacking Byron X-12 backstage in the parking lot area. Byron X-12 is getting attacked by, by Floyd Mayweather. Th this is crazy right now. I cannot believe it. And he is beating the hell out of the PWR Junior Heavyweight World Champion. What the hell is going on?